But this is going to be a quick little video just shot with my cell phone here, and I'm going to be going over sensorless homing and how to adjust your settings. Now, on the SVO6 Plus here, this is a machine that, if you look, does not have any end stops on the X or the Y, and this is because it uses sensorless homing. And how sensorless homing works is it will move the axis over until it stops with the end of the travel, and it will read the current draw of the motor to determine if this reached the end of travel. Now, we can adjust what that threshold is by going to configuration, advanced settings, and then TMC drivers, and centerless homing. The numbers on each axis indicate how sensitive it is. So a higher number indicates more sensitivity. So if I crank my X axis up to a super high setting, it will probably end up making the driver think that it's already homed when it actually hasn't. So we're gonna go ahead and I'm gonna tell it to home and I'm gonna move this over so it's got a lot of travel. And we're gonna hit home. And you can see here, it's not homing because it's too sensitive. So if I go back and I go to configuration here, advanced settings, go back into the TMC driver settings, and we're gonna lower this, I'm gonna show you what too low looks like. So too low is also bad because it will not trigger at all and the printer will just make a horrible noise as it tries to home. So I'm gonna set this super low. This should be low enough to make it not home correctly. And we go back up here and we're going to go to motion and I'm gonna home the X and it'll start moving over now. Except when it gets to the end, it's just gonna buzz because it can't determine that it actually homed. So you can see there, it's making all sorts of horrible noises. So I'm gonna power cycle the printer. You can see homing failed. And we're turning it back on. So if your machine is triggering before it actually gets to the travel position, you're gonna to wanna to lower the sensitivity by a little bit. I would recommend going in increments of five to 10 until you find the one that actually works for your machine. And that'll work for any access, whether it's the X or the Y. Once you find the value that works for your printer, you can go ahead and put it into the machine. You can go to the configuration menu and then select the store settings. So I hope this video helps you guys out and shows you how to tune your senseless homing settings on our Unified 2 firmware.